Have I done something wrong? Diet Coke, chipped ice, but not too much. I think this is about Betty. Can you pass me the ketchup? How you doing? I don't think so. That's all you want from me, the ketchup? Hello, I I'm Mason. I don't think so. What does that mean? It means she hates you. You lost your friend, Peanut, and I'm sorry. This isn't chipped ice. We don't have chipped ice. All we've got is cubes. Well, if you have cubes and an ice pick, then you have chipped. Do you, Casey, have an ice pick? Oh, yeah. Nice one. Well, then I think we need to start over. Um, you see that Diet Coke? That's on me. I'm Mason. Is your name Rube? Well, I'm Daisy. Daisy Adair. Well, aren't you lucky? This is Mason. And this is George. Daisy's one of us. Daisy's a reaper. George? Is that your given name? Georgia. Oh, that's much prettier. I think I'll call you Georgia. I hated her instantly, with all my guts. <laughs> what is she doing here? From? New York, Soho. Why were you transferred? Well, that's kind of personal. One Diet Coke, chipped ice. Thank you so much, Casey. So, Daisy, now seriously, that Diet Coke is on me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I need a refill. I hated her a little less. Georgia? It's Daisy, Daisy Adair. Fuck me. I heard that. Open the door, Georgia. Evening, Rumi. What do you mean, Rumi? Well, I'm here a couple of days early, so Rube said I should bug with you until I find something more suitable. Here, it's a housewarming slash thank you gift. Wood chips? No, silly goose. It's potpourri. It's English garden. Though it doesn't quite look like you're ready for home accents. Haven't had time to decorate. <sighs> oh, Raul. Poor stupid thing. Raul? Homeless gentleman. Drunk as a sailor, but curiously strung upper body. Mm -hmm. It really is. Here is the fiber we discussed. And one cocktail. Ready? Oh. Whoa! Sorry. OK. I really treasured the time we spent together, but you and your smelly self really must be going. Mason, be a doll and fetch me that handbag. Uh, anything for you, gorgeous. Was this whole bunking thing me? Georgia, if I may be so inquisitive, how did you die? Why do you ask? Well, you seem a little irritated. Oh, my God, your toilet seat girl? No wonder you're so annoyed. Well, then, I guess we're both famous. Well, Daisy, how did you die? I died during the making of Gone with the Wind. I am an actress. Oh, why? Yes, sir, and things have been going very well for me. The star of the movie and I, well, we had become quite the item. Hang on, you, you and Clark Gable? Yeah, uh-huh. I was young, and I really didn't know what I was doing. Sounds like you did. No, George, I didn't. I was under the craft services table, and I was blowing this tall, handsome man, and then someone leaned over and whispered in my ear, no. That's Clark Gable. So, so who were you blowing? I don't know. It's such a huge cast. Someone from the Confederacy, I think. But enough about me. Let's talk about where I'm putting my stuff. <laughs> I have to brush my teeth. Occupado! Do you work for a living? Because I do, and I have to be there on time. That sounds dreadful. You know, Daisy, I have a job. I mean, what do you do? Today, I'm going to buy the New York Times, since you obviously don't have it delivered. Then I'm going to sit at that little shop in the corner and have a green tea and a muffin, and then I'm going to look for a sweater set. This afternoon, if I'm so obligated, I'm going to collect someone's soul before they die. And if I look really pretty while I'm doing it, well, then good for me. That's what I do. Georgia.
to hire you two lovebirds, though. Oh, it was just brilliant to throw us in the same pot, Ruby. Georgia here. She's sweeter than a uh -huh. harvest peach. Uh -huh. What happened to your neck? Well, I didn't have a pillow last night. Yeah, we'll work it all out, won't we, sweetie? Mm. Who's complaining about the eggs? Oh, no complaints, just observations. The eggs are not good. I love eggs, I love them fried, scrimp. So who do we blame, the hen or the cook? He's a nice guy. So, Peanut, uh, why don't you tag along with our leading lady for a soul grab today? I really don't think I need a chaperone anymore. I know, she does. Peace at last. Maybe Daisy was out blowing the rich and famous. You work late. Um, Going to? I can't sleep on that chair again, Daisy. I know. I felt absolutely awful about that. And? And? And someone went on a tear at the mall today, and guess who purchased you your very own pillow? I thought we were going to switch off. Switch off? The bed. Good God. It's as if your tongue is just flapping loose in your mouth. Didn't anyone ever teach you diction? The, um... Switch. The witches switch swatches. Say it. I... The witches switch swatches. The witches switch swatches. Say it three times fast. The witches switch swatches. Almost whistle that sw blend. The witches switch swatches. The witches switch swatches. Again, faster. The witches switch swatches. The witches switch swatches. The, the witches, witches switch swatches. swatches. The there, witches that's the way. Oh, George, you're such a quick study. Good for you. Well, we'll work on it again tomorrow. All right, nighty night. Okay, good night. I want to say to you, you can't just move your shit into my apartment and kick me out of my own bed. <laughs> I never, ever get a break. <laughs> my mother abandoned me. My father was never a father. Never really had a real home or even a place that I felt like I belonged. Why can't I belong? Why can't you accept me? I just want you to... Hold me. This life has been a collection of disappointments and heartache. And see, a collection of problems, disillusionment, and unhappiness. Why do I always mutilate that line? Will you be a doll? And help me run my lines, and please don't be afraid to stop me if I'm even off by one syllable, okay? Come on, it's magic time. Okay. And action. Oh! Oh! Why can I never get a break? Oh.